Major Hamza and Mustafa, the presidential candidate for Action Alliance. Where by the grace of God go be the commander in chief of the Federal Republic of Nigeria after this election. We go start make we give him an opportunity. Make him tell us what him be the message where he bring come today. Now, after he don't give us the message, then the questions where we get to ask him, we go ask him. But before that one go happen, I don't know whether you come with one, two, three persons where you go one make them introduce themselves because he get person where I see we look like your vice, uh, your deputy or vice president uh, where they around you. He come with you today. He come with me in the my by my left. Uh, give a microphone. Make we hear his name. <laughs> your name and your role in the campaign team. Uh, good morning. Um, Consultant Ike. Mm. My name is Dr. Emmanuel Chukoka. Mm. I come from Yenugu. I'm mm. the running mate of Major Hamza Mustafa, the presidential candidate of Action Alliance. We can appreciate him. <laughs> Any other of your team member where you want to make introduce himself? Then they're around. If you can give them a minute, they will introduce themselves. Oh, yeah, give them microphone quickly. Give them. Raise your hand, take the microphone quickly. If anybody there reluctant, you move to the next person. Time, no day. Uh, consultant Ike. Yes, my brother. My name is Ike as well. I Ike too? Yes. <laughs> we could appreciate us. Yes. And, uh, I am a natural candidate of Ebony State. Ebony Central Zone. For Action Alliance. And for Action Alliance. You see the why you would party, make The number one party in Nigeria. Wow. Oh, now be the number one for the ballot paper. Number two, okay. Uh, good morning, consulted Ike. Mm, bring them closer to your mouth. My name is Ibrahim Garba Ahmed. Yes. I'm currently running on the PRP, mm. Kano Municipal. Yes. And a National Assembly. Yes. And I'm a diehard supporter of Major Hamza Al Mustafa, and by God's grace, he will be the next president. I'm going to appreciate that. You see, I was almost getting confused when I hear if they run on that PRP and then an action alliance with the discourse. But now he explained what he make him come. Now, very good one. Mm. Now, that's something where we the talk say this time, no be even about party, now about the individual. Oh, yeah, go on, my brother. Good morning, everybody. To your closer to your mouth. Uh -huh. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Gay. My name is Tijani Mohamed Aji. Mm. I'm from Yobe State. Mm. I'm son of the Major Hamza Al Mustafa mm. Serkinyaki. Make mm. appreciate him. <laughs> Next person, please. Next, quickly, quickly. Excellent morning, um, consultant. I good morning, Gay. Yeah, my name is Umar Muhammad Umar. Mm. I'm working on the media team and security team for the future president of Nigeria, Dr. Hamza Al Mustafa. <laughs> Next. My name is Engineer Hussein Suleiman Tahir. Mm. I'm the gubernatorial candidate under a for Adamao State. Wow, make one appreciate him. And um, I'm an ardent supporter and loyalist to Major Al Mustafa. Mm. Next person, quickly. Good morning, Mr. Ike. Mm. Uh, my name is Mohammed Lawal Bello. I am a contesting member house of representative okay. under Action Alliance. Okay. And I'm a diehard to Major Hamza El Okay. Mustafa. Well, I go run him quickly because time no day. Make we not finish the time where he meant for His Excellency to explain to us your name quickly. Your name. Good morning, consultant. I. No greeting. Your oh. name. Uh, my name is Honorable Olakule OE, mm. uh, Senatorial Candidate for Action Alliance, Kaduna Central. Next person. And the next please. Senator, Inshallah. Next. next person, quickly, quickly. Okay. okay. No, no. Ah, I nearly caught a more. Thank God I know do that one. Make we give. Uh, Good morning, Berkata family. Closer to your mouth. Yeah. Good morning, all. My name is Aisha Isa, mm. House of Representative 
Ikarakubal Federal Constituency, Kaduna State. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, good morning, Consultant Ike. Yes, please. Uh, my name is Abba Ibrahim Aliu. Mm. Uh, I'm the Governorship Candidate of uh, Actions Alliance, Sokoto State. Sokoto State, I'm uh, a and, and supporter of Hamza Al Mustafa, the next president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. 2023 okay. by God's grace. Okay. I'm going to cut it, it here now. People, whenever they introduce themselves, make one no verse with me because the message where His Excellency brings a very important message, and many people they wait, may they hear them. When he finish the message, if we get time left, people whenever they introduce themselves, go introduce themselves. I don't know whether they're good like that. Yes, sir. Okay, Your Excellency, it's over to you. Thank you very much. Hmm. Uh consultant Ike. And through you to Berkete family, and in particular ordinary president, we wish to register our appreciation for this second invitation, which was done on popular vote. Uh -huh. uh, first of all, I also uh, wish to put on record that after our first appearance, numerous reactions were received in our own fooled mm. and uh was it positive nigeria, reaction of course within mm. nigeria mm. in europe americas asia nigerians in diaspora and within nigeria numerous institutions actually uh, consulted us to seek more clarification on some certain issues uh, for the common good of humanity and nigeria in general mm. uh, so for this i wish to register it on behalf of my running mate our families and uh, the family that make uh, Action Alliance, patriotic young ones who are with us and who are in other parties, and our elders who care for the future of Nigeria, we wish to register a profound thanks to you. I thank you so much. Thank you. Now, I know time is uh, against us, so I will try to rush. Your Excellency, time is with you. I thank you. I <laughs> Not thank against you. you. I thank give you a message. You I can, thank you. I, I know you can do it even within this time we have. We will try, God willing. Mm, thank you. Uh, after my first appearance, it was evident that there were so many things we had from the questions that were unanswered and from what was left on my tiny little daughter. So I brought some forward believing that this country will require thorny areas mm. that must be addressed if we must prosper. Mm. We have spent as a country from independence to date, 60, we are two, we are getting to the 63 years. Mm. But there are many issues that I deliberately refuse to talk. Now that the campaign has come to an end, I was watching from the 13th, with all respect to my brothers and a sister, the candidates of all parties, I thought there were thorny areas we should unearth mm. now, mm. at this point in time of Nigeria's history, but it seems either they dodged it, or they are afraid of it, or they don't know it. Mm. But to me, I'm going to go through what I have. It's also at the surface of what we have in our data bank, mm. but I believe there is the need to talk about it. First, I start, and as a reminder, our own style of campaign, first of all, people ask, why don't we see you uh, being, doing the jamboree? I call it jamboree. Mm. You see, the wall moves. What Berkete family is doing today was what numerous bigger courts were doing yesterday. Mm. And it used to take them longer to resolve issues. Mm. Here is Berkete family. And in Berkete family lies the powers of numerous courts mm -hmm. and at all levels, which is an achievement, which is knowledge, which is an exposure. To us, we are also driven in that direction. Mm -hmm. We are using technology. <laughs> we are using technology. We are using uh, uh, what is open to us in reaching out to people and all that is outlined. The second aspect is by direct contact to the people covertly, and then looking scientifically at the INEX block voters mm. cluster. We looked at it carefully and identified within the society associations of, across Nigeria. And then we decided to now go to these ones who have all the votes. 
So rather than just going to the capital of a state mm. and dance on stage, mm. people are hungry. They don't have money. They don't have security. You are looking for power. You come under the guise of selling yourselves. Mm. They are hungry coming there. And then you are dancing before them. And you don't have any concrete, effective message to give to them. You don't even know them. You have not consulted them. You don't have commitment mm. on what to do with them. Mm. We want to differ from that. Mm. We are realists. We go by road. We meet leaders. We meet associations that we know they have the number. From religious groups, deliberately, mm. women, men associations, and youth associations across Nigeria. Those who are neglected, but they have the number, mm. are the ones we consulted. Mm. And today, with all sense of humility, I can hit my chest and say, if the election is brought forward to tomorrow morning, I'm sure of 30 million plus. I'm sure of that. <laughs> and when they ask and say, Go to go and join them and do the way they are doing. My name is Hamza Al Mustafa. I don't follow routines. Mm. I'm a realist. I x ray at the situation of my country and I do not want to add pain to this country. Mm. If I aspire to be the leader, then I'm bringing solutions. I shouldn't add to the problems because they are dancing and they don't think deeper. I should not join what is mad. If you join, you're one and the same. We mm. are different. This season and time in the world has come where electronics can play the ballot. Even INEC itself, mm. instead of doing yesterday's type of game, has changed to electronics, which everybody has accepted. I'm copying INEC. I have reached out. Mm. INEC is electronically reaching out to Nigeria, so we are all on the same wave and God willing. We have contacted and we are sure of ourselves. Wow. Now, second is to remind Nigerians quickly about our uh, promises. To me, studying all the parties from the consultations we have had with the people, changing Nigerian constitution is mandatory. If changing we, Nigeria. the constitution itself, changing Nigeria's constitution by the people, Mm. true to itself from the provisions of the law where the participation of every sector of Nigeria is mandatory. If I'm elected into power, I will work towards that where every part of this country, every single segment mm. will have a representation and their issues will be brought forward. It doesn't matter how it will look like. Mm. We shall have a domesticated type of democracy, different from the copycat that we have. Domesticated type of democracy. democracy. <laughs> it's one of the major problems of this country. The presidential system belongs to a certain country. And I think I can explain quickly. Mm. First, in 1979, 78, a team was sent to study a system in America. And before then, what we were practicing was parliamentary system. We abandoned that. The team that went to America decided to look at whatever they saw and copied. Where they saw America, they cleaned it and put Nigeria. They brought a presidential system. And in 19, 1979, NPN won the election. And then Shagari came. But it was a strange practice. It lasted for a term three months. They left. We now put that to study. And we now look at also another thing. The closest ally to United Kingdom is America. Mm. And you not the closest ally to U US is United Kingdom. Mm. And we ask ourselves, why is United Kingdom not operating presidential system? And why is United States not operating parliamentary system? Yet they are the closest on earth. So they're that, not even copying from They themselves. are not copying from each other. That is to say, whosoever wishes to now indigenize mm. democracy, mm. and he decided to do it by a copycat only, you are bringing a system that will not last. But let me tell you the danger of the one we are operating, mm. that of America. Why is America operating presidential system? It is the most expensive. It is costly. A lot of bureaucracy in it is certain. But why in America? 
because that is the only way they can put together the 53 countries that makes one united state mm. we don't have all these countries that are bigger and for us to be running a, the most costliest type of democracy mm. number one number two america fought the indigents when there were 12 states and then in america immigrants who came from all parts of the world is the, what constitute their population so america is a country of immigrants so immigrants there that's why they are low first of all is protective to immigrants uh, believing that they will now override the indigents so in nigeria if you say we are practicing presidential system squarely american type one question you ask yourself who is an indigent and who is a foreigner or who is an immigrant you are bringing a law that is repulsive to our culture to ourselves so we will work towards indigenizing uh, uh, nigeria's type of democracy and remember in 1998 from 1996 i was part and parcel of the initiation that brought a constitution but in 1998 through to 1999 numerous aspects that today are the problems facing nigeria were expunged out of that constitution that i know and living this one with numerous fundamental issues left there were a lot of exclusive issues in it that so i believe by these punctured holes we don't have a constitution that is good for ourselves second is to review bilateral trade agreements this particular issue it does not matter who becomes a president of nigeria unless you look at the international bilateral trade agreements nigeria signed over the years you are just there and you will be out there warm your chair for four years for a term or two terms and leave nigeria the way it is without any progress we discovered this and i think i'll go talk a little about it the next is rule of law enforcing it and making sure it is a culture there are numerous approaches we identified and we'll get that done another is dignifying the woman which is a major issue in life or in any administration particularly in the in democracy improving the standard of living in nigeria uh they we believe that will help from the measures we have our, uh, in our hands it will increase the life expect expectancy of the citizen of nigeria sound health care health care system away from what we have today totally something that will match a nigeria standard from god given resources that we have uh, road accidents we have a plan in reducing the 6000 from what was reported in last year death from accidents we also have a plan on uh, poverty reduction in nigeria we also have a plan for people with disability uh, from welfare their security their relevance uh, campaign against stigmatization their involvement in services in all services in the country public and private government will have a hand youth special package particularly on empowerment and skill acquisition children on health the children and mother program will be dusted up these are some of it that i believe in my last outing i skipped so here let me start nigeria's economy any economy in life cannot but consider the major infrastructure supportive to the economy and to the well-being of a country the followings are what we consider looking at nigeria i'm not talking in general terms but i'm looking at nigeria and i will have pick one two three and give examples only because of time ports nigerian ports the conspiracy against the eastern plank of nigeria where in my last outing i said is the richest part of nigeria the richest part of africa i said so mm -hmm. and then i will also talk a little about currency the problems in nigeria aside your excellency sir yes sir i just allowed you to flow All right. because you're making very important points right and i am sure because we still have even up to 15 minutes yes. you the points you're making no be waiting you go rush take your time all right explain them because even the things where you touch today they deeper 
than the things where you talk on the very first day where you come. Correct. You talk and say, it gets some silent areas where it be like, say, everybody no touch them, they dodge them. Either Correct. they no touch them because they no know or they no understand Correct. or they, they avoid them, they no want touch them. Correct. And you mention them. Now, the kind things where we say some places, people, they even fear to mention. For you to stand and say, if I become the president, yes. the constitution must change. Absolutely. Why? Because the thing where the constitution present to us today, you talk, say, you know, they good enough for us to run by ourselves. Absolutely. Say, a copy where they copy them. Correct. Where they arrived to America, they go remove America, put Nigeria, without checking whether the situation, Correct. the environment, the people, Correct. not the same. Correct. Whether the culture, not the same. Correct. Whether the attitude, not the same. Correct. Now, very important point you the talk so. I thank you so much for slowing me down and this encouragement. Because I see as you, mm. they rush them. They rush right. them. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm conscious of time and I don't want to skip. No, even if you not talk any other thing, mm. these ones where you talk, for me, it mm. makes a lot of sense. I didn't make sense to now. <laughs> there are, go on, there are others. I will also speak a little pigeon. Mm. Even me, as they try to learn pigeon, the, the other ones where are they rush to meet? Mm. If I miss some, I no go take lunch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Your Excellency, can you go? I, no go. <laughs> <laughs> I thank you so very much for this uh, direction. Uh, I say I will talk about currency. Mm. My own, not different thing entirely. Mm. It's about the country and the country's future. Yesterday's mistakes that has placed Nigeria on the wrong path. I will talk about that. I will talk about the games in the railway system of Nigeria. Mm. And I wish we could hear to know where we are the ones causing our problems by ourselves because we are afraid of one or two persons who are busy taking the whole thing into their pockets. I will talk about international trade where our Ogaden before made a mistake where they were lured and were lies 419 were given to them by some big, big people outside Nigeria and they signed agreement, part of what would they pay today. Then the, we, I will talk about a plan against Nigeria's future by a country called China. I will not mix words. I will not mix words. If I'm a president tomorrow and I'm meeting their president, you are doing wrong to me in Nigeria, and these are the reasons. I cannot toy with the lives of 200 million people plus and then be afraid to talk to no human on earth. Mm -hmm. Protecting Nigeria is something costly. I told you we are on investigative activities, and whosoever we see trying to now play with these 200 million Nigerians, with the position of Nigeria in Africa and given leadership, then definitely if we keep quiet, we are enemies to the people and enemies to Nigeria. We have to work. They call something Belt and Road Initiative. It sounds nothing, and it was someone's idea, but it's coming to destroy Nigeria, and through Nigeria it will destroy Africa, and through that will become slave. And it will even be better than colonialism that we have had. I will talk about it shortly. Mm. Now, let me start with the port. First of all, the ports. In our research, I discovered something uh, that was around 2017. In the course of meeting countries that send their ships to Nigeria, activities in shipments in modern world because of satellites Nothing about ship is secret. Their movements, their stay, the reporting, the demorages in card is no longer like that of 1980 up to backward to 60s and the rest. But in the course of knowing what the structures of government in Nigeria were doing, I discovered something outside Nigeria called unknown foreign accounts. Unknown foreign accounts? Absolutely. And a bank account be that? Yes. Where some people are stealing. Money they enter there. Too much. Huh. This, I must say it at this point, because tomorrow, if the best person to whom I give loyalty to, mm. I would have married Forrest with my parents, but I'm not here. Mm. If he becomes Nigeria's pr president and he doesn't understand this, 
You will make all the promises, but you will be wasting your time. There will not be progress. Mm. That's why I'm, I'm silently and picking one, two, three things for uh, our brothers to understand. And this is one of the reasons why our manifesto is only talking about the preliminaries like anybody. Mm. And we are hiding our data for mm. the common good of this country and Africa, then humanity mm. in general across the world. At this unknown account is kept the more activities of the ships goods are brought goods are moved importation exportation ships on transit and numerous things so much money is being accrued but then there is a certain amount of money remitted to an unknown account it has no name but mm. the white countries handlers are aware of it mm. it is an investigation in trying to better nigeria that led us to that so when I came, I, Hamza Al-Mustafa, initiated a company. And I called some lawyers, they say, and, and gave them the assignment. Say, so take this to the Ministry of Transport, specifically the Port Authority, NPA. They did. Soon after, they took it, because we are to realize billions of dollars to help our economy, to help our people. On those unknown foreign accounts? Of course. The day it is packaged together, I know many people will cry. Hmm. As to first why we took loans before, why we are talking loans now. As to why we have poor people around. As to why we cannot support our education. As to why today we cannot boast of anything that will say, this is the giant of Africa. From that alone. I know what I'm talking about. To say we are under funding security, and in Nigeria there is insecurity, and we are bold to say we are giant of Africa. So if we, and then tomorrow a leadership, a president will be there, but he might not know of this, and he'll be there cracking his ears, scavenging for. That's why I said it is one thing to aspire to be on a chair; it is another thing to say, "Have you worked for it? Do you know what is there?" Or are you dancing? Or are you part of the fanfare of the office telling lies? No sooner you settle, you have found yourself on the throne, and then you find yourself as, reading as many stars as your eyes can see because you don't have the solution. Mm. So let me continue because of time. This unknown account exists. So this letter and this lawyer went because I wanted him to now follow up as a seen SN. I deliberately handpicked him for his personality because he's outspoken. When they went there, they cried out overnight. There were meetings of some big men across Nigeria who are beneficiaries of this that has, has been there for decades. Oh, those accounts are even Nigerians are beneficiaries of Of course, those themselves accounts. and the white men involved. And for decades, nobody knew. Mm. We got to know in the process of uncovering something for Nigeria. Mm. Because the question you may ask yourself, why is it that nothing is working? Too many trillions and no solution. Mm. Why? So we uncovered this. Before you know it, there was a stone. They denied the letter. They denied those who signed the cover letter. Those it was sent to shouted on it. They chased the uh, SN outspoken and bold as he is. I added another team behind him without him knowing. They were all chased away. Mm -hmm. And this matter is one of the toughest issues for Nigeria if you must become a leader and you want to unearth this. One of the major obstacles and then so difficult to manage. Mm -hmm. I'm saying it to the fore mm -hmm. because tomorrow if God gives you the position and you take an oath of office with holy book before 200 million people plus and you are creator and yet in your mind you know that there is this particular obstacle that could can save nigeria and yet you took oath and believe you can do it but inside your mind you know you cannot do it and that is an exemplary exact um, exemplified hypocrisy mm. we are not one this country has to change we are coming to do it once God Almighty give us the opportunity, this will be done. Thank God we have seen the direction. <laughs> the next is a certain issue we identified using the same port that we understood. You see, a country that call itself a country, every part of that country is part and parcel, is as important 
and must be given priority like any other one. Mm. Correct? We just sat down from this and we look at the port in Nigeria. And I'm disturbed. In Nigeria, you have Calabar port. You have Port Harcourt. You have Wari. You have a papa? No, I'm coming to that. I'm looking at the eastern plank first. Okay. The question here is, there is no ship that carries more than 10,000 tons that can get to them. You ask yourself why? Deliberate negligence mm. and deceits. Deceits in the last six years, at the beginning of the year, NPA will advertise for those who will come to channel mm. through, which is, a, uh, which is one of the cheapest things compared to the region. Mm. But then it will be advertised, it will be in the budget, the year will come and pass, and then the ports are just remaining the same. So you realize that for the ports to be refused to function, mm. sons and daughters of the East, I'm talking East, when I say East, I'm talking from Borno, North East, South East, South South, mm. for the inactivities in their ports proper, Mm. They run to Apapa, Lagos, uh, Tinkan, and Apapa. And the big place become over, the over congested. I'm coming to that. You see the game. So you are, and then why Lagos? Why is Lagos working? Why are the rest not working? Whose game is it? How much are they getting in a day? How much are they making in a week? How much are they making in a month? When we sat down to calculate, it is uh, better to crown an arm robber that you know is an arm robber and then crown him as a noble person than what we saw. <laughs> they still, they tell lies, they deceive and present themselves for you to elect them into offices. Where are the intellectuals? Where are the religious people? How come we don't think? How come we don't investigate? And it's extremely painful. So this country should now be on her feet. Every son and daughter, if you see me, I'm conversing for presidency. If you realize that there are elements of deceit or of lies or of incapability or ability for me to, then definitely if you know, I don't have the courage to now do BCD that I talked about, then run away from me. Throw me far away into the ocean and never allow me to come to the mainstream of politics. That is what we should be doing. Mm -hmm. Truth, when it comes to your country, never compromise. It doesn't matter how much money they have. Mm -hmm. Some believe the money they have is the ticket to do whatever they want. That's why they drop this small money. And before you know it, the same people blindly will follow. We could have done the jamboree. I'm not skipping the, my point, though. Mm. We could have done this type of jamboree. But out of our nature of investigating before we take a step, we realized one particular state where all candidates went to. We discovered the same people who took money for party A. Mm. It's the same people who took money for the, another party. It's the same crowd for another and another. So the so crowds are being recycled. They are recycled. They are the same. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you will see them on television mm. as if they have the people. No, it, gets, people, it gets one where I even identify. Now, be, my close friend, uh -huh, I see so, him for one party rally. Uh -huh. I see him for another party rally. I see him for another party rally. It's the money. And people I say they go wear camera there. Maybe then they show him. You know, no, they remember. He, he doesn't care. It's money they want. People hmm. want to eat. Any person who does not go to rural areas, you don't see what, then, what is happening in urban areas. You are fake. Unless you know the pains of the people, you can't provide li the right leadership. So I'm running. I can see you looking at your wristwatch. <laughs> yeah. Your Excellency, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, don't look at me. Look at the people. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate. Yeah. I appreciate. So um, at the beginning, before I talk about this issue, why I'm always talking about Nigeria from the beginning, every single activity in building Nigeria, in protecting Nigeria, in understanding Nigeria and her history, Nigeria was actually being looked at from the eastern plank and the western plank. Mm. That was the path. It was this understanding that was conceived as part of the idea of merger between the then 
NPC and NCNC. Mm -hmm. And that is what gave birth to the first government in Nigeria, Zik President Tafa Paleo Prime Minister. But after the war, people changed and recoined it to now be seen to be North and South. Mm -hmm. The North and South is deliberately coined to now create division so that you don't live together. Mm -hmm. You will hurt yourself. There will be ethnic lines. Much, a mutual suspicion, even mm -hmm. according to religions. And this was what was adopted in 1972 that I talked about. When the people hurt themselves, we shall help them to hurt themselves. We will put money there. We will take what they have and make them fools. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about this foolishness, even in the management of our, of our ports, as at 2023, capital shame, 62 years after, we are still being robotic. One drunkard white man will sit far somewhere who careless about us will sit down and say, I think this policy is good for you. They take it, adopt it to impress them. This is not 1960. This is the year 2000. The world has since moved. And that is what we are bringing in leadership to change, to say that every idea works. <laughs> so today, all these sports are not working. One may ask, who is refusing to make them work? Who is afraid of what? Who is taking all the money budgets captured? For the last six years, we counted. Six years. And then why did they refuse it? Not that. Julius Badger at one time offered to on their own mm. to dredge it free of charge. Uh -uh. They were denied. They were refused. They said, uh, hold on. In this Nigeria? Yes, in this I'm telling you, it's an investigation we conducted. I'm not just talking. Why? Mm. When you know that our population is increasing and the hopelessness being pushed is also increasing. And the same people who come to television and say the crime rate is too high, so we need more money in the budget. And they will look at some faces of leadership and abuse them or criticize them. But we are not looking at the roots of the problems. Who are these people doing this? There are people responsible. Who are they? I will flow. Now, um, generally, this thing that I talked about is simply because of management of revenue. Mm. In Nigeria, there is something we need to understand. Revenue earned, revenue remitted. Mm. On tax, tax collected. Then you sit back and see actual tax remitted to government. Tax sent into the pocket. Mm. Tax recorded. There are remittances out of these four. Unless you open your eyes, is the more you see, the less you understand. And that's what they do to government. They, at the end of the day, give about 10% to government, the remaining in their pocket. So they are too rich. That's why you see arrogancy. You see, they, they are bigger than the laws of the land. They mm. disobey the law. They believe money alone can do it for them in Nigeria. Mm. And that's why our institutions are being killed day by day. The disadvantages for this attitude on ports alone are many. I will mention one or two, three only. Today, the kidnapping that is on the increase in the East is simply because of this. This is a major cause. Nothing to fall back to. Mm. They are educated. They don't know what to do. Nobody no, is sponsoring them. No the country is not running on welfare system. Mm. Even when they talk, they chase them away. But when election comes and people are ready to bring money, that's why they are ready to do any dirty work. Mm. There are some people who believe if Nigeria run this way, they will perfectually be in power. Mm. But if people get to know and they have little money, they will not go into such work. So that is why this is going on. So security is affected. And then you see the congestion in the port in Apapa and Tinkani in itself is uncalled for every ship is here every truck is there mm. a papa is too congested you can't manage it for that alone why not allow jb to do the dredging even if it means one port in the west i mean in the east so there is a game and they they, they make sure that the media covers it up and give them support is because of personal greedy interest or greed of some certain individuals mm -hmm. nothing more uh, i talk about uh, negligence uh, and the on issue of wealth generation for the management of nigeria mm -hmm. because a papa and tinkan have a certain yardstick of what they can generate so they give that the rest are remitted to whose pockets hmm. very very critical then, questions then, Question. Questions where don't dry saliva from my mouth. 
Dan dan uh... <laughs> Your Excellency. Uh, sorry, I uh... I beg. Uh, so, sorry, I'm I rushing. beg you uh... go make you make you I beg. You make you round up. I beg you because Okay, I will round up in this way. Uh -huh. That's why I the fear. Waiting day here is too heavy. Naive in fear. I, I will Naive leave... in fear. Make no. me beg you to round up. No, I will leave one paper with you. Mm. There are two papers. I will hand them over to you. You read them slowly at your own time by mm. time. Mm. Begin to educate Nigerians on it. So you permit us make we make them open? No, no, there are you two. You don't say we not be like the other media houses. No, where then they I use will cover. give you two papers mm. and I will sign them. Keep them in your archives, mm. study them, mm. and then find out. Mm. IMF and World Bank mm. gave us condition on how we are to manage ourselves. We have had leaders before. And now we are looking for cash. They know that they are to give us cash. No, instead they are actually putting you in a deeper hole and we found it. Mm. We found it. And unless, it, unless, if you are the best manager in the world, and you become Nigeria's president tomorrow, nothing will work. The only thing that will work is for you to be bold. Mm -hmm. And I will say this with all sense of humility because of time. <sighs> no candidate understand this. I size all of them. There is direct sizing, there is indirect sizing. Mm -hmm. They don't know what I'm talking about and what I'm going to hand over to you. Unless we meet IMF mm -hmm. as a president, to renegotiate international trade mm. arrangement that we have had with them. I'm talking particularly with Vienna Convention law of treaties. That must be reviewed. Mm. That is mandatory. Mm. It is mandatory in the sense that unless if you say I'm a president I'm a, and I'm sacrificing my family, my kids and the future young wants to come, mm. it must be reviewed. Mm. And I'm using this medium to tell American government Think again. We love Nigeria in the same way or much more than you love America. Mm. We love our future. Finally, Your Excellency. Finally, I'm calling on Nigerians. I would have said so much that would have helped us. Not because I'm contesting, but mm. because I'm a Nigerian primarily. I, I care for peace, unity security and prosperity of every Nigerian, irrespective of where you come from, those at home, those in diaspora. This pushes us to make these researches. I'm not a desperate person looking for power. Mm. I'm not. But I care for the well-being of Nigeria. I want to go to any part of the world and say I belong to that golden country mm. because we sweated for it. <laughs> we are against destruction of Nigeria. So I'm calling on Nigerians. I have been given this opportunity to come for the second time. Unfortunately, time is against me. I have to step out. But I know I have spoken at least about 10% of what I have. So if tomorrow... Just I get 10%? Less than 10% by far, I think. By far. There are critical issues. I'll give you the paper, study it. Even after election, call me. Because for this episode, Your Excellency, your final word. My final word. Peaceful election. Let love permeate. Let understanding and patriotism drive us through. Mm. Let destiny work. Mm. And let every candidate understand. And their chairman of their parties and their supporters, all of us, mm. understand that in the life of man, mm. there is individual destiny. There is collective destiny. Mm. And it is emphasis. We have had promises. But time has come when we cannot toy with the future of this country. Mm. Let every citizen mm. Mm. My brothers, my sisters, where they watch us now the voice of His Excellency Major Hamza Mustafa, the presidential candidate of Action Alliance. If you now watch, you now go see how heavy in heart they. You now go see how heavy to the extent that he is almost breaking down. 
You know the breakdown out of desperation for the position, according to him. It the breakdown out of what he know about this country, where he believes, say, if the leaders know him and take the right decision, Nigeria will be different. With that one, today, we go end the program. Because anything we get beginning, it get end. Opportunity goes still there. Even before the election or after election, where in go come back, you go tell us more. Because now people like this, we suppose get things where we go build a better Nigeria from. I don't know whether the point we make today, it make any sense to any of us. He reach, make on a give him standing ovation. Even the document where he talks, say, go give me, make it no be like, say, na play, he don't give me the document here straight away, and they sign him. Can Please I? take your seats. Just, your Excellency, just one minute. Just a sentence. Okay. A sentence. You know, from what we're doing and our approach of doing things, so many people believe that they can sabotage what we are doing. Mm -hmm. Some said I joined this party. Some said in newspapers I was in party A. I abandoned my, my own uh, uh, mission of being the candidate in Action Alliance. Just two days ago, somebody went to television and announced to the whole world that I abandoned my candidature uh, in Action Alliance and I have joined PDP. You know, a lot of lies like this are going on. So this mm -hmm. is an excellent medium to say. I have not joined nobody. Mm. I am not joining anybody. Mm. If I'm going to fail, I will fail pretty well. Mm. If I'm going to succeed, I will succeed pretty well. Mm. I understand what individual and then uh, collective destiny is all about. Mm. Each person has his own, mm. but we all as Nigerians have our own. Mm. I am still in Action Alliance. I am a contestant. Mm. But to PDP, nobody spoke to me. Mm. Nobody said anything, neither to me or my running mate. Mm. Only for us to hear ourselves on television. That to me is a scam mm. and it's unfortunate. Mm. Lies telling at such level mm. is unfortunate. Mm. So we pray there will be peaceful election and God Almighty willing next week by now, mm. God willing, mm. we shall be mm. crowned as president and running mate elect. God willing. Amen.